A couple nights ago, I made this steaming hot coffee effect that's pretty convincing and has a satisfying amount of motion and distortion to it, and thought, I should probably make a tutorial. Please make sure you're using the HD render pipeline since only that has output particle distortion quad which we'll need for this video. Okay, step one. Make a new visual effect graph. I'm gonna rename mine to small steam. This visual effect is gonna consist of three particle systems, one for the wobbly heat distortion particles and two for two different steam textures. I'm gonna be using flipbook textures for these, which is like an animated texture. All of the flipbook textures I use are free and made by Unity. You can go ahead and download those in the description if you're following along. First, let's make the distortion particle system. To start, we're gonna to go to system, empty particle system, to get the basic layout of a system. Since we want this particle to distort what's behind it, I'll replace the output particle quad block with one called output particle distortion quad. You can hit spacebar at any time to bring up the search menu and you can just type in what you're looking for. I'll add a constant spawn rate block and set it to four so the particles will spawn at a rate of four per second. In initialize, I'll set the capacity to 32 since we don't need very many particles and add a set position block so the system knows where to spawn the particles. I'll add a set lifetime random block and set it between 1 and 2, so each heat particle lasts between 1 and 2 seconds. Finally, I'll add a set angle random block, set it to only the Z channel, and set it between 0 and 360, so the angle that the particle spawns at is totally random, increasing the variation of the effect. Then in update, since we're making flipbook particles, we have to add a flipbook player block. I set the frame rate to 1, so the particle will update with the next frame of its animation every 1 second, leading to a quite slow but noticeable morphing distortion effect, like you would see on a real hot cup of coffee. I'll also add a force block, set it to world space, and set the velocity to 1 on the y axis, because heat rises, and set the drag to 1 to kind of slow its ascent. Finally, in the output particle distortion quad thing that you created earlier, set the UV mode to flipbook blend, set the flipbook book size to 8x8, because that's the size of the flipbook that we have, add this distortion blur map, then add a set alpha over life block. I set my curve up for it like this, so the distortion effect becomes noticeable when the particle spawns and then gradually tapers away as the particle leaves the cup. I'll add a set size over life block and set it up so it increases from zero, then stays at one until the particle's death. Then add an orient face camera position block so the particles face the right direction. Next we'll make the first steam particle system. Go ahead and duplicate the whole system that you just made so we can just make a few adjustments and be done with the whole visual effect in no time. Turn the spawn rate down to 3 so the spawn timing isn't the exact same as that of the heat particles. On the force block, I turn the upward velocity down to 0.25 and increase the drag to 2. Now go ahead and copy all the blocks in the output section since we'll want to reuse them, but we don't want a distortion quad. Delete the whole distortion quad output thing, add a new one called output particle quad, and hook it up. Now paste the blocks that you'd copied back into this section. Assign the texture to this nice flipbook quote unquote cloud from Unity. Change the blend mode to additive so the steam always lightens whatever's behind it. Tick use soft particle and add a set color block set to white. Okay, home stretch. let's make the second steam particle system. Copy and paste that whole last system, which by the way, you can name. I like to label mine so they look more organized. You can like click there and, and label them. Up the lifetime to between two and four, so we have some steam particles that last a bit longer. Turn the upward velocity down to 0.1. Then assign the texture to our second cloud flipbook, and I changed up the shape of my size over life graph just to add even more variation. And that's not right. And I realized I forgot a step. Go to output particle quad and set the UV mode back to flipbook blend and make sure you put the flipbook size back from four x four to eight x eight. Hit compile and here is our finished project. I hope this video helped you in either learning the effects graph or making a nice cup of coffee for your game. If you're learning the effects graph, it's a bit tricky to get the hang of, but I hope you're starting to notice how the components that make up a particle system come together so you can start making whatever the hell you want.